Then you know you're writing for Martin Freeman, so I can take the mickey out of his Lego hair. <laughs> I just hope he's watching. Everybody here loves having pudding. We have it every day at six o'clock. Sometimes it is jelly, what is cold, and sometimes it is crumble, what is hot. Ricky, you are not only playing Derek, you also wrote and produced this show. As an author, is there any other actor you could have imagined as Derek? Um, well, yes. Now I've created it, I could, you know, just like um, when I created uh, David Brenton, Steve Carell took it on and did an amazing job. Um, but I don't really create... Uh, usually the part I play was something about me in it, something about me and David Brent, something about David Brent and me, Andy Millman, Derek. But, you know, I create other characters for other people to play, you know. Um, a Gareth uh, is based on a guy I went to school with when, when I was 14. That's why Gareth in the office acts like a 14-year-old, because he's based <laughs> on a 14-year-old. And then you cast. And initially, Gareth, this, this guy, he was sort of like quite a sporty guy and a big guy. And we were looking for those, you know, macho guys, right? But then when Mackenzie Crook walked through and he looked like a baby bird, it was even funnier <laughs> that he was talking about killing a man and, <laughs> and he looked like this <laughs> sorry, yeah, young swan. Um, so, uh, it, it, yes and no. I mean, I couldn't have created it without something about me in it. But then anyone, anyone can play any any part really um, and then I write in physicality that's why the second series of something is usually better than the first because then you know you're writing for Mackenzie Crook so you put in things then you know you're writing for Martin Freeman mm -hmm. so I can take the mickey out of his Lego hair <laughs> <laughs> I just hope he's watching so you know you, you you create you create as you know you maybe and then you know, hand it out a bit early, innit? The early bird catches the worm, babe. What if the... What if the worm's having a lion? What? What if the early bird gets up and goes on to go and catch the worm, and he gets there, but that day, the worm's overslept? In the second season, um, we see uh, Tom and Hannah try and get closer. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're trying um, for a baby, which uh, uh, eventually the story comes to fruition in the in the special. Um, uh, Kev and Derek move into a caravan, which again we see um, peaks in the special. Uh, so uh, yeah, same old place, same old faces, and some new ones. Hello? Is anyone listening? <gasps> it's despicable here sometimes, isn't it? Let's say I would ask uh, Derek for a life lesson, for a piece of advice. What would he say to me? Just be kind. He'd say, just be kind. Mm -hmm. There's a speech he makes in um, series two where he says, um, I don't think it matters whether there's a God or not, because I've, I've known people who believed in God that were good and that were bad, and I've known people who don't believe in God, who were good and who were bad. So just be good. So is that always uh, also what you would say? Uh, well, I don't believe there is a God. Um, so I, I, I uh, I'd always say, just be good. Um, but uh, I like the way Derek comes to it, that it just doesn't matter because um, I think that's the thing that you, you, everyone's flawed, and that's what the show's about. Everyone's flawed. Um, and uh, and I think we create our own heroes and villains in, in drama. So bad people get punished or they change and good people get rewarded. Mm -hmm. So I create my own heaven and hell and I'm God in, when, you, when you create TV. And that's the fun in it. It's the, it's the, it's the power to create and, you know, and it's role play for the soul. Mm -hmm. I think, drama.
Last but not least, I would like to know what your favorite TV shows are. What do you watch in your private time? Right, at the moment, I'm halfway through Game of Thrones, which is amazing. I never thought <laughs> I'd like it. I love it. Uh, um, House of Cards is just incredible how they've taken that. The drama, the direction is amazing. My all-time favorite, probably The Sopranos. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I like... UFC, my guilty pleasure is probably cage fighting. I don't know if it's too late now, but I've got a bad back. But uh, I'll just watch that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for Cheers. the interview. It was good My to pleasure. talk to you. Cheers. Thank you.